Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroads Online. Today we're up at the iron mine and I've got a full load here. So we're going to hook on to the cut of cars and head back down the mountain. Probably going to be a pretty quick video today. I just want to get down to the uh, smelter and get this dropped off. And then, I can't remember... I think maybe some beams and stuff will go on these cars. If we can take product back out, we will. Otherwise, we'll have to get some other cars. I don't remember exactly which cars we need for the uh, rails and stuff. Alright, brake off. How's our fire looking? Out. Alright. There we go. And, of course, you know, you push F to get in, and that happens. So, not even going to edit that out. Come on, re-rail. This is Railroads Online. <laughs> Get the full experience. Alright, let's try that again. I don't know why it does that. It's so It's like it's imparting physics or something. I don't know. It usually just does it like the first time you get in after you start a game. Alright, we got a little bit of pressure. So I need to throw that back in. Yeah, man. Alright, break is off. Whoa! No, oh, that worked. <laughs> it wouldn't move at first. And then it really moved. Yeah, we need some brakes on here. So yeah, you're you're getting the full treatment today. We're not we're not editing out anything. Sometimes if it's a big pain, I'll edit some of that out. Alright, back in here. Off we go. <laughs> No, we need to we need to get the pressure built back up. In the meantime, let's take the brake off. And how much? We got 11 left. So I could have filled up four cars. I'd had a fourth car. So while we're waiting here, you can see I made a little uh, stub track there. I've got a turntable in case I want to turn something around. And then we just got uh, two other tracks. To hold cars, pretty simple affair. But I kind of like the way it turned out. All right, our water temperature is almost back up. So we'll go ahead and get moving. I'm just gonna pull up, hook onto this cut, and then we're gonna back down the mountain. So we got one beam and two lumber, it looks like. If I remember correctly, on realistic economy, you need twice the inputs. So we'd need four lumber and two beam, I think, to make an iron ore. Let's let that switch automatically go. That slow down. throw the switch here we go so this is just a, a dead end up here it's got enough room I can get in with 10 cars and then a, f a few more someday we might go to the smelter that direction I'm not sure yeah man Are you so reluctant to move? Oh yeah, this is a little bit of a downgrade. I forgot about that. A little bit of a grade there. I didn't want it to be too tall. It's already tall enough. I 
think that has enough energy to coast. Whee! <laughs> There we go, and then do I have some brakes? We had brakes on the head end back here. Need to get these cars turned around too. I like to have the uh, brake wheels towards the front of the train, just for consistency. Uh, did I not have any brakes set on this? I was just relying on the new rolling resistance to keep it in place. I'm not sure if that's going to stick around. It really affects what you can do. And from what I understand, uh, with the new beta, they switched physics engines. So I don't know if that's just part of the new physics engine or what. But definitely something you need to plan for. There's a just built-in resistance. It's like the brakes are on like 5 or 10% on everything. Okay, no brakes. We are all set. Those brakes are off. You up to 20%, and then let's go make sure we got the switches lined up. But should line us out of here automatically. Uh oh. Picking up speed. Run! Yeah, that switch is going to switch. That one's all good to go. Grab an F12s. You can never have too many F12s. And I'll just let it come on by me here and we'll hop in. Hopefully. We better hop up on a car. Sometimes it is difficult to get in the cab. Come on. Get on the side of the car. There we go. Okay, it didn't fly me off the track that time getting in, so that's good. Interesting, it said 20% when I was in the cab. It said 21% here. I wonder if there's some rounding there. So, down the mountain we go. I'm going to try to turn this into a time lapse and uh, not accidentally mute the video so you get a black screen. <laughs> See you on the other side.
Well, that took just short of forever. You may have noticed I picked up a little friend back there. I forgot I had sent Betsy down the hill. No, I forgot to go check and see how far she actually made it. <laughs> Apparently she made it to back there around the valley. So we'll have to drive that back over. That's okay. We'll just leave it here. Get ready to switch directions and head down to the smelter. Climax has got plenty of power for this hill over here. That slow down. May at some point make another route down to the smelter. So we don't have to switch back. don't have uh, railroads online extended on so just normal run speed today Whee. oh Betsy did get clear all right so the natural rolling resistance will hold that in place kind of hope they get rid of that I liked the uh, free rolling before at least more free rolling Uh, let's see, we will take the flat cars down, because I th think... Let's go look. Yeah, they haul the raw, raw iron rail and... Well, okay, I thought that was the same cars we needed. But I may... Actually, I may just keep this as the lumber train. And uh, buy more cars. And we want to start taking stuff to the coal mine. So let's unhook that. I can use Betsy to pull that back over. So I think the idea will be once I get some more money, I'll have a, a faster locomotive. Several people have suggested the 10 miles. So I'm going to look into that. A faster loco to take the lumber and beams over to the base of Iron Mountain. And then the climax will just, you know, do the steep part. That's the, uh, the longer term plan. I think that'll make more sense. Okay, good. Did knock me off the track. So we'll just take these three down and then I'll have to come back up here and grab Betsy at some point. Really wish the level of detail could be cranked up. It's so silly to have half your bridge missing. 50 meters in front of your loco. Pretty sure my computer would handle it. Alright, down we go. Let's see, it's missing. Pop into place. Boink. Attempt to fade a little bit here with the new physics engine. Probably just coast down. Nice view. This is getting even steeper. Go ahead and put the brakes on. Whee! <laughs> We'll say it's nice not having the cars fly off the track if you get over like 22 miles an hour rolling. It's off on the brakes. The curve will help break us some. And I think, yeah, it looks like we're lined up to get the smelter track. 
So maybe I should have kept the brakes on. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stop in time. <laughs> stop! Could have had that go straight. Didn't get it switched in time. Oh, that worked out. Just right. Ooh, are we gonna... Have I been down here with the climax? I actually can't remember. Let's save. In case. And this should start producing. We've got plenty of cordwood down here. Then are we gonna squeeze past here? Let's find out. A little tight. I might have to redo that. I think it's probably gonna just clip through. So it works, but it's definitely visually a little a little tight. There's there's just not a I don't know. Somebody somewhere has probably come up with a better way to do this. But unless you want to just shove a few cars at a time in here. Or cordwood. It's not really a good way to get to both of these. I kinda wanted to have three tracks on each. There we go. And naturally, these only carry 8 instead of 10, but since they're new, I kind of wanted to use them. So, yeah, now we got some money. So, I want to go ahead and buy a fourth car. It's going to be both. It's number 2. There we go. He's sitting over there at the yard for us. Or wait, did I get number two paint? I thought I got number two paint. I'll have to check into that. I think some of the editing tools let you change that. All right, off we go. got 31 cord wood. Man, it takes a lot of materials on realistic. Or a hard economy, whatever it's called. But I thought I'd try something different. So let's head on around. Get these pulled up out of the valley. Now we're going to be busy. We need to haul cordwood down here and lumber and beams up to the iron mine. Um, I haven't had time to stream lately, but real life has been super duper busy with work and kids sports and everything. And we got uh, six raw iron, 12 rails. Nice. But uh, I might do a railroads online stream at some point because we need to we need to make a bunch of money. And we also need to get track laid out to the coal mine, which will take quite a while. So we'll see. If I can make it work, I'll try to get a stream in at some point. Just do a bunch of either running trains and or laying track. But that'll be it for this one. Thanks as always for watching. I'll catch you next time. Take care.